Hey everyone, time for another book review. I picked up the National Bank Notes 6th edition by Don C. Kelly. If you are curious at all about National Bank Notes, this is the book for you. This is, it is a monster thick book. Um, it is also set up the same way that the uh, the red book is set up meaning that it's a spiral edition so that when you decide to actually do some research the book will lay flat now this is just such an incredible research resource uh first thing i do have to let you know is that this particular book sixth edition i believe is the most current edition and this was pu published in 2008 so the the prices aren't going to be very accurate However, when you can see one note is 500 in this and one note is 100 in this, uh, those may not be the prices, but it will be crystal clear that the $500 price note is more scarce or more valuable than the $100 note, regardless of the actual price. Um, I'm not going to give you a multiplier because I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression, but uh, it's safe to say that if one, one note outvalues another note in this book, it will still outvalue that note present day. So as far as that type of research for pricing, this comes in handy. Now, as far as being the National Banknote 6th edition, um, like I said, being published in 2008, um, that was a while ago, which means this book is now out of print. Um, you can't order this book anymore. They're not printing it. Uh, it's been out of print for a while. And to get your hands on one of these is getting tough. Um, they run, I paid 75 for mine. Um, so yeah, they can be a little bit pricey, but if you're considering buying nationals, any nationals at all, you could be paying two, three, four, eight hundred, a thousand dollars for a national. Well, if, if you're willing to, if you're willing to buy two or three nationals at, at four or five hundred dollars a piece, that's two grand. Don't you think $75 for a little bit of information on there is a good investment? So yeah, uh, the National Banknote 6th Edition by Don C. Kelly, incredible book. Um, like I said, it does. it is 2008 and it is out of print, so it is tougher to find. Uh, the nice thing about this is, I wasn't going to say it's full color and the first picture that pops up is black and white, but the book is full color whenever there are pictures shown. Um, the amount of information in here is staggering. Um, national bank notes, they had made, you can see right here, over 12,000 banks between 1863 and 1935. Every single bank is listed in this book. <laughs> so, yeah, it's quite impressive. You get the breakdown as to what everything means on a national. Um, they have full color pictures of all the nationals, um, as well as detailed descriptions of the subtle changes that you'll find on certain notes. Um, they, all kinds of tables with abbreviations, full color. There's an ace, there's a lazy deuce, there's the $5, you know, front and back, full color pictures of all this stuff. Um, just a great resource as far as individual things regarding individual bills. That's the, uh, famous black charter number note. Uh, you'll be able to read about that if you get it yourself. But yeah, there's so many, oh yeah, here's the, uh, the gold treasury notes like that. Uh, just incredible. There's the brown backs. I got one of those. Uh, yeah, when it talks about the notes themselves, they are full color. And that's just the info on the individual specific charter. Uh, there was three charter series that were put out. And then when you actually get to the individual banks themselves, you can see as I flip through this, this is a bank, and this is a bank, and this is a bank, and this is a bank. They're organized by state. Okay, and by state and by territory, I should say. And yeah, there's just literally thousands and thousands of different banks that are listed in here. And you'll also see that there's breakdowns like here's Oklahoma um, by county, which banks were listed in which county. So not only do you get to see, you know, what banks are out there, the different types of currencies that were there, but then you can go to each individual state map and figure out exactly where in the state that particular note was from. I mean, so it's just such a cool, cool thing here. And as far as each of these little bank sections, they are broken down in the front. And I'll give you a little bit of that right here. You can see this one here is uh, the Oxford National Bank of Oxford, and you can see uh, 
there's the charter number 6059. It tells you when the bank was chartered, 122101. It tells you, this would be 1801, by the way, not 1901. I know that because the very first thing that they list is the brownbacks. And brownbacks were uh, 1882, if I recall. Anyway, uh, the brownbacks, there was three per sheet. Well, actually, there was three tens and a 20 printed on a sheet. And they were numbered 1 through th uh, 3,700. Uh, total value of those that were out there is 2500 or the value of those particular notes is about $2,500, according to this. Uh, 1882 date back, once again, shows the sheets were three notes per sheet, which had, well, three $10 and one $20 note. There was the serial numbers and the value of each. Uh, the value backs, 1882 value backs, 1902 plain backs, and so on down the line. It tells you everything that you need to know about each individual one. It even gets down to the small size notes from 1929. The type ones for each different denomination. If they had a type two, it would tell you. And then the nice thing is here on the bottom, uh, total issue. The total issue for this bank was $502,050. That's how much this bank put out in total lifetime. Um, as of 1935, they had recalled all the bills, and there were $50,000 worth of notes that were still left in circulation, and they even kept track of the large size out. As of 1935, there was still $3,380 of large size notes in existence, or at least that weren't turned in. So that gives you an idea of how many are available. Now, that is a lot of information for one bank, and in this book, you are talking... 12,000 different banks. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to find out any piece of information, you don't even have to have the note. You can simply go into, uh, let's see, where, where where would be a good one? Uh, New York. What do we have from New York here? Um, here's Hudson, Farmer's Bank of Hudson. And if I zoom in on that, I can see when the bank was chartered, 4765, that's 1865, of course. The original series, um, the sheets had three $1 bills and one $2 bill. They're all numbered one through 3,000. Those go for $2,000 to $4,000 a piece. You, know, you can look at the bottom and see that the total issue was $2.1 million. As of 1935, there was 50,000 still available, and the large size notes that were still out were 6,480. So yeah, just at a glance, you can see for any bank all the different things like that. Now, some of the other things is if the bank had, like the Citizens National Bank of Hornville, um, you will see that if there are different titles, you see it says second title, Citizens National Bank of uh, Horn Hornell, and the third title is Citizens NB of NTC. Uh, so yeah, it, it gets into the specifics of every single detail of every one of these banks. The amount of information here is stunning. Now, one of the other things that they have, I haven't tried this yet. I don't know if it works. Um, it came with a CD. If you're young, you don't know what this is. <laughs> um, the National Banknote Census, uh, the John Hickman Project, Don C. Kelly, James M. Kelly. Now, what you can do is, if you have a computer that still takes uh, CD-ROMs, <laughs> you can quite literally load that in, and uh, if you're if you're younger than me, you'll get a kick out of all this stuff. Insert CD into CD tray and close. Wait 10 or more seconds for the computer to recognize the CD. Oh, yes, having to wait 10 seconds for anything. Such a pain. Um, <laughs> anyway, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to load this. And then you can also enter the notes that you find uh, to help with the census, which is how this particular book was put together. Um, so, yeah, just like I said, the endless amounts of information that's contained in this book, it, it's breathtaking. Um, if you were to pay... Well, there's 10000 If you were to pay one cent for each little bit of information that means this would cost you 120 dollars if you paid a penny for each bank <laughs> okay um so yeah even though 75 dollars sounds like a lot when you put it into perspective this book is dirt cheap and like i said the amount of info is incredible um imagine going to a coin show and finding some little obscure town that nobody knows about and 
the owner of the particular banknote has had it forever and he's just sitting on it and he almost wants to give the thing away. He's selling it so cheap. And he has no idea that that is the only one left for a particular town. Or it's a $50 bill and there's only $2,000 outstanding. You know, I mean, that's, uh, that's good information to have when it comes to buying notes like this. Anyway, National Banknotes 6th Edition, Don C. Kelly. Great, great book. A uh, little on the pricey side, but quite literally worth every single penny you can you're putting into it uh definitely gets a thumbs up rating from me um that's what i've got for you guys this week uh, if you learn anything new go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you see and you want to see more please subscribe i love reading all your comments thanks for watching see you soon